Well, now, this year's Women's World Cup has already broken some viewership records, and joining me from Chicago now to provide insight into the rise of women's football is Hugh Mengzies, and he is the head coach of the Jamaican women's team. Hugh, welcome to the program. What a success this tournament has been, hasn't it? Do you think that women's football's time has finally come? Yeah, I honestly think so. I mean, the development of the game has just evolved on the female side, and I think... Europe, is, Europe has shown that. The U.S. have already shown that in the past, but now Europe, Europe is catching on, and now it's really spreading across the world. Can you tell me, how is it possible that the USA women's team is seemingly so much stronger at the game than the men's team? Why is that? <laughs> well, obviously, the, there's so much um, attitude in women today, the women empowerment of everything, the rights of women, I think it's evolved into on the field, a, a football field. And um, as you can see, the, out, the outbreak of the out, how they speak about their personal um, ideas, you know, Megan Rapina talking out against certain things that she feels is not right for her. So this is a great platform for them, and it just bleeds into their personality and it spreads to the field. Yes, and uh, just to add to what you're saying, I gather that the USA women's team fight very hard for equal pay, for example. They no. lobby the authorities to get as much as they can compared to the men. Oh, most definitely. With social media now today, you, all you have to do is have a voice, and I think they're taking advantage of it. And you know what? They're going to be successful and they're going to succeed. And they, they'll continue to grow as, as, as the women show, um, show how they're going to be successful tomorrow. Now, I want to pick up on something you touched on just now. FIFA, the global body for football, and the Europeans have been particularly good, I understand, uh, from what you but, said just now, at promoting uh, the women's game, right? Oh, they have. And FIFA has done an unbelievable job at the World Cup. You know, we've we been there, the Cinderella team of the World Cup. The, the, the FIFA actually assigned a crew, TV crew, with, to us to really get the insides of how our players are in the, as, as people. And I think they're really doing a really good job of spreading the world and, and causing a little bit of a change in how we perceive women on the field. And I am told that Barcelona, for example, and Lyon, Barcelona in Spain, Lyon in France, where I think the final is going to be on Sunday, um, they go out of their way to promote women's games in those stadiums. Is that correct? And that, that is absolutely correct. Obviously, it's an investment, so they have to go out and promote just as much as they do for the men. But FIFA has put a lot of stipulation in a lot of these big-time clubs to go out there and start investing in women's football, and it's paying off. So where does the corporate world fit into all of this? Are they on board as well, or have they got some catching up to do? They have some catching up to do. I think we as, we as football nation of women need to do a better job of selling the product that we have. Women, hey, women are intelligent people. They're very intelligent. Um, so at a younger age, probably smarter than, than our male counterparts. Um, they listen, they learn. And, um, you know, and one thing they do, they fight for what they believe in. So, Hugh, I can't let you go before you tell me, how did you lot get on then in this particular World Cup? How far did you go? Well, you know, we, we, you know, we were the first Caribbean nation to get to the World Cup ever. Um, so that's a first for us. And, you know, the, the whole project of us taking on this whole ordeal was not to qualify for the World Cup, but to change the mindset of people in our country, how they view females playing football. It just so happened that we made the World Cup well along that journey. But, you know, at the end of the day, we'll continue that journey and we'll continue to fight. <laughs> and finally, who's going to win tomorrow? Who do you think, USA or the Netherlands? Well, you know, I live, I live in the United States. I'm a big <laughs> fan of Jill Ellis, and, you know, I've known some of those players since they're tots. So I'm going to back, I'm going to be, I'm going to be behind the USA for sure. Great stuff, Hugh. Great to see you in Chicago. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Great honor.